An ABC investigation has revealed that an organisation in charge of protecting the Great Barrier Reef altered a scientific report into one of its own programs. The report reviewed the effectiveness of Crown of Thorns starfish culling, co-run by the Reef and Rainforest Research Centre. The scientist who wrote the paper says he's shocked. Here's National Environment reporter Michael Slezak. This is the latest mission in far north Queensland to kill the coral-eating Crown of Thorns starfish part of a government-funded program costing millions of dollars. Much of that has gone to the Reef and Rainforest Research Centre, or RRC. In 2014, it hired marine biologist Dr Udo Engelhart to review one of its programs. Well, the report was, I could say, not received well because it was actually highly critical. After agreeing to several changes, the scientist put his foot down. I objected to making some of those major changes because they simply would have been misleading. Um, they would have then included false statements that I could not have supported. But the RRC wasn't satisfied. In one email, seen by the ABC, sent to the head of the organisation, a staff member suggests several options, including... Keep our changes and publish it with Udo's name and wear the wrath of Udo. Six days later, the report was handed to government, but with changes that Dr Engelhart had refused to make. Comments were added suggesting that problems with the program had been fixed and some of the most critical sentences had been removed. Furthermore, the program has been operated without any concerns given to the inherent ecological risks of inadequate control measures. It, it just absolutely throws me. I did not think that they would go down that particular track and actually manipulate a document. Um, this, this is really disheartening to see. Legal and governance experts have raised concerns. If a body hands a document to the government which isn't true, then there's a range of laws that they could be potentially breaking. In my view, changing a report that's intended to inform the government could be interpreted as an attempt to deceive. Triple RC Managing Director Sheridan Morris says the report was handed to government with the understanding it was still under review and there was no conspiracy to hide information. Michael Slezak, ABC News.